I've got three people in the studio now. Is it? Could you tell when you're watching at home? Can you tell that there's like three people sitting there? Well, you probably can't. I can anyway. I've got a group of people in. I've got Kevin Campion in, Scott Hartley in, and Luke. Wait for this, Luke Billy Ricky Fowler. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. There they are. Smile, boys. Smile. Big one. Cut, cut. Give it that music. Give it that music. It always happens. Every time you introduce people, it goes to them and they're sitting there like they've just been condemned to death. <laughs> they haven't got to that. You're allowed to smile on the show. Right, Kevin, you got your boys with me. Introduce me to the boys as you go along. Yep, we've what? got Luke Fowler here. So Luke's 19 today, actually, Steve. Oh, it's your birthday today? It's your 21st. It's his oh, uh, 19th today. Hold on. Don't worry <laughs> yes, about that. We up. didn't get a card. But no, they are 19, son. You didn't have that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Scott, <laughs> Scott Hartley, who's out on Sunday. Actually, he's playing on, he's fighting on Sunday. Are they both fighting on Sunday? No, Luke's not now, unfortunately. Okay. We had to draw him out because of an injury to his hand. OK. So, um, uh, and you are fighting on, yeah. on Sunday, Scott. Now, it's your second fight, isn't it? Yeah, second fight. And this is, on, this is the Miranda Carter show yeah, at uh, is it your call. Your yeah, call, yeah. Call. What a plug that is, eh? Definitely. I don't very much so. And tickets still available? <laughs> yeah, tickets still available. And you need to sell tickets, don't you, to yeah. box on... You know, people, someone's forgetting that you need yeah. to, to be on the shows that don't have TV back in. You need to sell tickets, yeah, don't you? Yeah, big sale, big sale. It's got to be yeah. pushed. I mean, yeah, so it should be. It's key, so that for for uh, that's why this is such a, a good example for them and for and for us really because it gets their name out there. And you know, like you say, selling tickets is is important for them for money wise and to get their name out there. I, so. I, mean, I mean, in all fairness, there was a time, Kevin, say maybe ten years ago, when some of the bigger fighters that didn't have followings they got away with it. But now, I mean, you know, even like you know, on, on our Box Nation shows, Frank Bullioni, not only does he sell five or six hundred tickets, he has to, he needs yeah, to. Yeah. That's all part of it. There's no no one, you know, I, I think the days of guys turning pro with good amateur records and having an easy run, I think they're over. I think you, I think all fighters need to do it. Now that's that's a good, that's best though, isn't it, Kev? Yeah, yeah. I mean. That's right. I mean, I think there's a, a misconception from the fans as well that there's huge amounts of money out there, and obviously everyone is earning millions and thousands of pounds. And you and I know, Steve, that's not the uh, hey, hey, listen, that's not the case. You and I know, but Luke and Scott know for certain. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, and and, and not, no one's making the sort of money that people think they're making. No, and you know what? Fighters in America are not making it. Sure, the big ones are making fortunes, but you'd be amazed because in Vegas, when you fight on an undercard in Vegas, and there's always a fight on a Friday night before a big fight, and when you fight, there's five or six. Six fights, you know, in this really rubbish casino on the outskirts of town, and you look at some of the undercard fighters; they're on three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I mean that's staggering money, isn't it? That's yeah, just it's, rubbish. It's hard. It's hard. You know, it's hard enough sport as it is, Steve, without you know not earning earning you know, peanuts. Pain. Exactly. What, what about Luke? Do you work? Do you work as well yeah, to supplement the box? <laughs> yeah. just get up at five in the morning and go work at ASDA. Oh just shoot! Like Part-time job. But that's good for hours, though. I mean, yeah, I know yeah, five finish. o'clock's not good, but yeah. at least you can pick yeah. your hours. Finish at like ten, twelve. You know, so you're get in the gym then. Enough time to get me training done. Go out for the run. Go out training in the evening. Uh, and where is where is where is your gym? You are. We're right, up at Enfield you? at the moment, and like uh, we travel from Essex, so down to Enfield. That's not far. I mean, they're near the borders yeah, of each other, yeah. aren't they? It's not like you've got to go too far. What about you, Scott? Are you having to work as well? Yeah, you... uh, well, I moved down here for boxing originally, but I've got to work as well. Can't can't live in London. I live in the city, like. So so sure. try to live in the city is uh, quite cost effective otherwise. So it's, it's, it's tough, isn't it? It is hard. Yeah. I mean, even I mean, uh, have you managed to get them sponsors, Kev, or is it just hard to get them proper proper sponsors? Yeah, it is hard. To get, I mean, to be fair, they've been quite lucky. They have got sponsors themselves. Um, Luke's sponsored by just obviously like local companies. They've got like builders, etc. And by the gym itself, we operate because we actually operate out of a public gym, Steve. But we're very lucky that we're there and we get all the time we want. We can have the ring whenever we want. So oh, that's quite from good. their point of view as well, we operate out of a public gym because it's they can sell tickets from there as well. It's another reason why we we operate there. But and Scott as well. Scott's picked up a couple of sponsorships as well so that's important but yeah it's not big big sponsors because again it's all about getting the name out of there even if it's a, even if it's a few hundred quid it means you've got a little bit more so, yeah, yeah. that's the thing like i think with boxing you if you're driving for something like you've got the hunger to to work on and work harder to get there you don't want to be sitting there just getting everything handed to you because no, it means not. you don't work as hard in the gym, in the training yeah. gym and then in the fights like. and, and, and we and we all know without mentioning names that can happen to olympic gold medalists oh steve shut <laughs> up you shouldn't see it's like a tourette's telling the truth it's sometimes terrible no but we do know yeah, sometimes yeah, right. sometimes big amateurs can have too much given to them yeah. for too long and they almost forget to fight amir khan nearly made that mistake mm -hmm. until he got knocked out and he tells that he tells the truth about it. Kev, listen before we uh, before we go on we're gonna we're gonna 
I'm going to interrupt you again. Now, I've been asked also to give a big shout out to a charity, it's for, and the boys know about this. I'll talk to them about it in a minute. It's on. It's on your screen there. It's forlewis.co.uk. It's a. It's for suffering and basically devastated parents of stillborn children and sudden infant deaths. Now, I know lots of the boxing community have got involved with this so far. Nathan Cleverly, Sugar Ray, then the great Sergio Martinez, and also Andre. Well, that's not a bad uh, lineup. So if you want to do something and find out more about it, and if you know someone that um, maybe your brother, your sister, someone you know that's um, been involved with that, you know, that's been a parent, a parent of a stillborn child, or also a parent that suffered an, a sudden infant death, um, have a look at that site. It's quite important. Now, Kevin, you're involved with this, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm mean, not necessarily involved with it. It's yeah. I mean, we we it was contacted via Twitter, and they approached us and asked us if we'd sign some gloves for them. And and you know, boxers have had a lot of bad press recently, Steve. But the yeah. whole boxing community have got right behind this charity. As you, I mean, you've reeled off some of the list there. Some of the people that signed gloves to go towards this great charity. And like I say, I'll be honest, I don't know a great deal about it, but I just know it's a great charity. It certainly is. Luke, uh, let me ask you, Luke, your, your hands, how bad is your hand? Just temporary, or is uh, it? Yeah, just temporary. Just got to wait for it to heal. Ready? Right? Just keep sand waiting. Back the time so Luke, it? Luke, the Bill of Ricky Fowler. I love that Bill of Ricky Fowler. <laughs> uh, when might you be out, Luke? Uh, looking at May, isn't it? Yeah, May, May time. time yeah. And, and you're out this show. Sunday. Scott. Yeah. What about after? You're going to stay, keep busy. Yeah, hopefully uh, getting out again on either dinner show or well, Al Carthor's got a show as well. Maybe get out on that. On oh, I've got my Alex up in Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. I'm going to get Alex on the show on the uh, 14th of April, and then again in May as well on Look, Miranda's other show. Absolutely. But do me a favour, kid. Bring the boys back every three yeah, or four months. Bring them in. Get them in a yeah, the slot. Yeah. So Miranda Richards, Miranda Carter's show. Miranda Richards may be a boxing fan. I don't know. Miranda Carter's show is on Sunday at York. Cool. Starts in the afternoon, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. three o'clock. Afternoon. If you fancy seeing Scott fight and saying hello to Luke and saying hello to Kevin, you can get involved with that charity. I'm Steve Buds, there'll be an advert, and then we're going to have a big man in the studio. A heavyweight's going to come in. Dillian White's going to come in here. See you in a second.